going on guys? For any of you wondering, yes I'm wearing a, a, a shirt thing with my name on it. So if you didn't know, I used to work at a car dealer, Smith Chevrolet, and uh, I was just a service washer or whatever. But um, they gave us, they gave us a full outfits. They gave us like, literally I had like 12 shirts that were just mine with my name on them. Like 12 pairs of pants. You know, and they would wash them and everything. So when I, when I quit or whatever, I just took this shirt with me. Um, you know, keep it. It's got my name on it anyway. But anyways, that's that. So today, probably gonna go, we're gonna go over to my grandma's. Um, and I think I'm going to tear into the carburetor to find out what's wrong. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And, um, might do some other things I don't know yet. But mainly gonna tear into the carburetor. I also wanted to talk to you guys. So, um, it's my own fault. I haven't got a another job yet but last night so me and my brother were playing around and my youngest brother Kenzo is always jumping on my my brother's new bed and you know they're always playing around on it well Donovan was chasing me and we were messing around and I ran and I jumped on his bed and I broke his box spring the whole board completely snapped and the, these box springs are weird like most of the ones I've seen kinda I, I don't know this, the few I've seen they run like the the width of the bed so there's like more of them and they all run in the width of the bed well this one runs the length of the bed so there's like you know there's less and when it snaps you know it supports more of the bed like the bed could fold in half you know it supports more of it supports um when one breaks, it will support much less. It's much more drastic if one lengthwise breaks and one, one widthwise breaks. But anyway, so that happened. I got yelled at. Um, so it is currently February 16th or, yeah, it's Thursday, February 16th. I have two weeks. I have till March 1st to find a job or I'm getting kicked out. So... Yeah, got to go job hunting too, and do all that good stuff. Alright guys, so I started the vlog, haven't really recorded since, but this this happened. Um, for those of you who don't know, that that's uh, a carburetor. So let me just, that was the biggest pain in the ass ever. So... Let me just show you how I did it. Look, look, look all, look at all those parts on the ground. Lucky I don't sell this bitch. Get a run in and sell her. But, um, huh. but anyways, let me just take you on a quick tour. Oh, hey, where the hell's my bike gone? Oh, yay, you know, no parts. So, I tried to get the carburetor off. I, I ended up taking off this mount right here. You know, I can just put it back on. Um, get my hands in there a little easier. But because it's cold, the air boot didn't want to come off. And I, so I, I've never done this before. I've never really worked on these. So this is basically my first time. And so I took the subframe off, but the air boot was like stuck on there. And it took me forever to pull in the air boot. Like I was pulling on the air boot, and I ended up getting a hair dryer and heating it up a little bit. It still didn't come off, but I ended up getting it off the, the, um, um, engine side that the the boot came off that but the the air boot for the air box um couldn't get that off so I ended up just taking off my shock watched a few videos um she's dirty but yeah we're gonna go clean this carb hopefully I really 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 hope that's the issue is the carb because like I said when I had the guy build it he said the carb was nasty. It looked like it sat there for a while and he cleaned it the best he could. So hopefully it just, you know, it's clogged a little. And it needs to be, um, needs to be cleaned. Um, apparently it's raining outside. Kind of cold in here. 
But anyways, I guess I'll record myself. I guess I'll record taking the car apart. See if you guys enjoy that. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get her put back together tonight. It's 4:30. Should hopefully get her put back together. Gonna go clean the car, and I'll let you know what the deal is on her. Doing this inside may not be the best idea. But that's what I'm gonna do. Cause it's cold out there and I don't have any workspace, so boop boop. Boop boop. That's the gas I just drained. Okay, guys. So so the problem I'm running into is the float, float little screws are stripping out. So I'll have to figure out some way to get those off. Alright guys, got the float bowl off. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it is pretty dirty in there. Um... Man, yeah, that's, that's way dirty. So that could be the culprit. We're gonna we're gonna tear into this thing some more. So I've been sitting here cleaning. I've got the uh, the float bowl looking a lot nicer. Um, looks a lot better. Uh, the main jet was kind of plugged up. Don't know if that was the issue or not. We've got these clean, just got a little bit more to clean, and then, uh, it's getting it's dark outside, so I'll check in with you in a little bit. Coming along quite nicely. Just gotta put the slide back on and some other things and I think she'll be ready to go. Got her all clean, put back together. I didn't um, take off this thing for the uh, the diaphragm or whatever it's called. The screws are stripped. So, this is how she goes on. Tomorrow, I'll put her on. Put some fresh gas in her and see if she starts. That's what the dealio is, dudes. I forgot to put this piece back in. It's like a little thing that goes underneath the main jet. Don't think it's super important, but I'll put it back in in the morning, dudes. Hey guys, so tomorrow I'm gonna put the carburetor back on. Put some fresh, put some fresh gas in her. Put it all together and try and start it. Um, <laughs> honestly, hey, I, I cleared it so they couldn't. I sorry. Do if it doesn't me. start, um, I'm probably gonna list it for sale. Um, it's been too much of a headache. I mean, there's not even big problems. It's just that bike. The bike has, was torn apart for so long and oh, trashed. The uh, the uh float bowl bolts and all those bolts were like stripped out I couldn't even get the the diaphragm bolts or whatever they're called out so that's why I didn't record I know, much okay. is because it took me a very long time to get all that stuff done Something. and I was getting really frustrated and really angry so um that's why I didn't record but tomorrow I'm going to <laughs> Put the car back on, put it all back together. Hopefully if it, it starts. Even if it does start, I don't know. It's just been, it's been too much work. It's, I shouldn't say that hasn't been too much work. I don't have any booze right now. Uh, I still might sell it and maybe look for something a bit newer and better condition. Because the guys who had it before me really trashed it. So, probably going to list it. But I don't know, we'll talk about it later. Alright guys, so it's the next day. Um... I've been out here working a little bit, it's it's noon, I've been over here since 
9, 9.30. I went into town because I thought I lost a part to my fuel screw. I thought the O-ring was gone, but it ended up being just stuck up in the carburetor. So, um, that happened. But, um, got it out. Um, I'm going to call up that place and tell them I don't need the part anymore. Got the carburetor back on. I didn't record that. Just because it, it was a pain in the ass. Got the subframe, the shock, and all that back on. Um, so now it's just time to, you know, put the plastics on. And see if this thing starts. Maybe that's all it needed was a carb clean. Here goes nothing. Cut the gas. Let's fish you guys up. And we're gonna see. I'm gonna put gas in there. Gas is first off, I'm gonna put these boards up. Gas this puppy up. Gas this puppy up. See if she runs. Got my race gas fuel here. I'm only gonna put a little bit in her in case she don't run. Moment of truth. Turn on the peck dock. See if she leaks. I don't see no leaking, do you guys? Maybe you can see. I don't see none. So let's let's see if this baby will fire up for us. I guess I should probably put the cat back on, huh?
Choke. Actually, let's see how you ask your ball score. Let's see a plate. Oh, okay. That's that. Um, got her running. Yippee Kaye. But um, I'm gonna list her. I'm gonna try and sell her. Um, uh, I'm not gonna dick anyone over. I'm gonna ask for you know what I want, and I'll negotiate. But um, so when I, I was out riding just a second ago, and it like blew up oil, but it was like milky oil. And we we're trying to see where it was leaking. It still runs, so I don't know. The head gasket bad or I don't know, but it's it still runs. So um yeah, I'm gonna list her on sale. So if someone else knows more, they'll work on it, you know. Easy fix, head gasket's not that much, even if I, to be honest, I don't know if it's head gasket, I'm just saying that. But uh yeah. I think I'm gonna end the video there. Uh if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on if it sells or not and yeah, see you next time.